Hi everyone, let's go to Beluga Restaurant in Notting Hill Gate, London. Before we get started and I'll show you around this amazing Persian restaurant, please hit that like and subscribe button. For those of you who've been following me for a while, you'll know my channel is all about food and travel. I don't normally do restaurant reviews, but I was absolutely blown away by this Persian restaurant. The restaurant has got a really nice vibe and the decor and the paintings on the walls are so beautiful. It has an extensive menu full of traditional Persian cuisines and the kebabs, which I'm going to show you in a bit. I loved these charger plates, they are so gorgeous. Time for the main event, the menu. Let's have a look at the menu together. Feel free to pause the video at any time to check out the starters, main courses and desserts. I absolutely loved their menu. So they have got all the usual stews and kebabs that most Persian restaurants have in London, but they have got some additional traditional dishes. In their warm starters, they had the lamb tongue with lamb broth. In the main courses, they had tajin and ab gusht. And of course, let's not forget the caviar platter selections. They also had fet and jan stew, which you don't normally find in Persian restaurants in London. They also had a good selection for vegetarians and pescatarians. Let me show you what we ordered. So for drinks, we ordered the traditional duk, which is a yogurt drink. And for starters, we had a selection of miza gasimi, kashk badimjan and the lamb tongue in broth. Now I can't begin to tell you how amazing this naan was. It had sliced of pistachio and was freshly baked. It was so thin, so crispy. It went so well with the starters especially if you chop up little bits and put it into that broth. It was heavenly. I love the two aubergine starters. It was smoky, they were garlicky, and with that bread, it was amazing. The staff were so kind, they let me film the naan being made. The bread goes in this special tunnel where it's stuck to the side, and within a couple of minutes, it comes out lovely and crispy. If you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to support my channel. It's now time for the main courses. When you go to a Persian restaurant, you absolutely have to have the grills. So I went for the bag special, which was a skewer of lamb fillet and a skewer of minced lamb with this beautiful rice. We also ordered a side of crispy rice to go with the fesenjan stew. So fesenjan, it's a really rich stew made from walnuts and pomegranate molasses. And it comes with either lamb or duck. On this occasion, we had it with duck. I just wanna take a minute to appreciate this beautiful rice. It looks like cake. The main courses were just amazing. The portions were huge, but you can take away what you can't finish in a doggy bag. We managed to find room for dessert, so let's have a look at the menu. Again, pause to read. We started with a large pot of Persian tea. How beautiful is this teapot? The tea came with complimentary baklavas, which were really, really lush. I have to say that the staff in this restaurant were all so amazing. Everyone was so friendly, so hospitable, really, really great service. Even though it was so packed, they made sure that every single table was looked after. We went for traditional Persian desserts, which was the saffron ice cream with clotted cream and pistachio, and saffron ice cream with falude, which is frozen noodles. You're wondering why there's a wedge of lemon with your dessert. Grab that lemon, squeeze over your falude or noodles, get the sour cherry molasses, pour it all over, grab your spoon, get a bit of everything and enjoy those flavours. Hope you've enjoyed this video, hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.